Hi there, I'm Manuel Moavero, lead game designer at Stormine Games. And today I have the privilege of talking to you about the hide and seek gameplay that we built for a quiet place the road ahead. In a quiet place movie franchise, we've seen how the creatures invaded her. In the road ahead, you'll experience navigating a silent world, quietly sneaking by and outsmarting these apex predators using whatever you can find in your environment for your advantage. You might hide yourself behind objects in bushes or even cardboard boxes. However, traditionally hiding tactics are ineffective against the creatures as they respond to auditory cues rather than visual ones. So, for the benefit of your survival, we've given you a flashlight. While it doesn't directly help you as a tool for noise reduction or distraction, it does help you navigate many of the dark spaces in the game so that you can see and avoid all things that might make noise around you. You'll also be equipped with a phonometer, a tool that measures sound. The right column on a phonometer indicates how much sound you are making, while the left column indicates how much ambient noise is around you. For instance, if you are standing near running water, the ambient noise levels may be quite high. This gives you the chance to make sounds that are masked by the water and stay undetected by any nearby creatures. Finding ambient sound sources can be quite rare though, so most of the time you'll need to find other things to work with. Empty bottles, for instance, can be picked up and thrown to create a loud distraction to attract the attention of the creatures. Sandbags, on the other hand, give you an opportunity to create your own silent pathways across surfaces that would have otherwise generated a lot of sound when walking over. And in some places that still have functional electricity, you may even find ways of temporarily stunning creatures. Throughout this whole game, Wild and Seek, your main goal is always finding your way to safety. This can be done by following specific directions left behind by other survivors, or with a little ingenuity and puzzle solving. But whatever you do, just don't make a sound. 